guys. What is going on? Uh, we are broadcasting live right now. I hope we are live. Yeah, we're live. So, what's going on, guys? Uh, this is it, man. This is, this is a very good day today. Uh, I had a good day. Didn't even have to use my... Yeah. Anyway, very, very, very good day today. We're going to make it an even better day. Today, we're talking about earning earning this holiday season. Oh, man. We're going to dive right in. I'm going to share my screen. Uh, and, you know, you guys, I'm not going to be able to see the comments until the very end. But you guys are going to be in for a treat. Make sure you take notes on this one. You don't want to have to take notes on this one. All right? So let's go ahead. Let's, let's, let's dive right in. All right. So we're going to go through the PowerPoint. I'm going to show you guys. You're going to look right over my shoulder, and I'll show you guys how this is done. Uh, we're going to talk about earning some, some money off eBay uh, today. It's going to be a good one. Okay, so eBay earning this holiday season. Are you ready to sell to an audience that buys? So a lot of people get into trying to make another stream of income, and they, they are thinking, oh, man, I don't know how to sell anything. I don't know how to uh, do these kind of things. Trust me, I was there at a point where it was like, man, how am I going to sell this to people? How am I going to do that? And one good thing about eBay and Amazon and all these different places is that people come there to buy, period. And they come, come there to buy specifically what they want. Okay, We dove into yesterday exactly what they want and when they're going to want it. So it's just our job to provide that. Okay, I'm going to hop into how you are going to do it uh, you're going to use eBay first. That's what we're going to start off talking about for this week. And then we'll hop into some other platforms as we go on. Um, all right. So first thing you're going to do is create an eBay account. Go to eBay.com. Go ahead and create your account. Make sure you fill out the registration form and create your eBay username. Okay. eBay and your username should have something to do with your shop. Like, you know, it could be something discounts or something like that. Your name discounts, whatever you want. Okay. Then you're going to make sure you create a PayPal account. It's super important. You're going to have a PayPal account linked with your eBay account. So you create that PayPal account. Make sure it's that business PayPal account. Okay, we are uh, diving into the business. You're going to click Get Started, and you're going to choose the PayPal payments uh, standard, and you're going to choose, and that's the free option. The standard option is going to be the free option for that one. And so your email address there, make sure it's a good email address, a strong email address that you're going to be looking looking at uh, often, because uh, that's where you're going to hear that hear that noise, and, that, and then you know the money came in. So imagine you're hearing the email noise on your phone, and you know that means money came in. That's a good feeling. Um, business type, sole proprietorship or LLC, depending on uh, where you're at. Uh, sole proprietorship is just if you just started, just go ahead and just just use use that. Uh, LLC is if you have already have a business established. Enter your personal information there, uh, and then continue to your email. Link your PayPal account to your bank account. Okay, that's going to be an extreme extremely critical step. And then you may want to consider, and I actually do highly suggest that you get a PayPal debit card. But what that's going to do is, well, it does a couple things. One, when money comes in, uh, you could just be having all your money in this with this PayPal card. And then you're basically using that uh, instead of using any money out, out your pocket. You're really using money that came in to go right back out. Okay. Uh, other thing is you get this uh, five tenths of a percent cash back. Now, you may be thinking that's only 50 cents for every one hundred dollars. But when you're talking about one hundred thousand dollars, then you're you're talking about uh, five hundred dollars that you don't want to go down the drain. If you've seen five hundred dollars on the ground, you're going to definitely pick it up. You're going to definitely take another look at it. OK, so let's let's not even think about that twice. It's optional, but recommended. OK, first things first, you're going to link your PayPal to your eBay account. So go log into eBay. You're going to go to my account. Go to account settings. You're going to click link my PayPal account. If at any point, one, you can take notes right now, but if at any point you need to catch the replay, make sure you catch the replay. Uh, we are going to go through this information a little bit fast, but um, it's something that you can always go back and then uh, go back and forth and make sure you do this the right way, follow each step. Okay, so you're going to go click link my PayPal account. You're going to log into PayPal. Okay, you're going to complete the link linking. 
and then that should be good there okay then you have your PayPal nice and linked and everything is together so how does this work exactly how are you going to be able to uh, not have any inventory not really have any much but you're going to be able to start this online business okay this is going to work like this in seven easy steps okay you're going to list items on eBay from your recommended supplier which is Amazon I'm going to show you exactly how to do this right after this presentation I'm going to literally show you exactly what I would do and I'm going to walk you through those steps okay uh, you're going to make a sale okay so once you list your item, obviously it's up there, people can buy it, you're going to make the sale. You're going to record the sale in your inventory spreadsheet. I'll show you what that spreadsheet looks like. If you need to have a copy of the spreadsheet, you send me your email and I'll send it along to you. Okay? Purchase the item with money from the eBay customers. The eBay customer is going to pay, it's going to come up in your PayPal, um, and then you're going to ship it to them. Now, PayPal does... For that first initial week or so, uh, PayPal takes some time to uh, actually give you the funds. So that first initial uh, week or so, the funds won't be there right away. But after that point, uh, as the money is coming in, you're going to just be able to go ahead and use. Um, you're going to be able to use that. Okay. Thank your customer. Uh, obviously, when they make a purchase, you're going to thank them, and you're going to upload the track into eBay. Okay. Uh, keep all the profit that's left over. Those are seven easy steps. That's how it's going to work. We're going to dive a little bit deeper into them. First, a few important things to keep in mind. One, the eBay fees and they have the PayPal fees. So together, that's going to be make up about 13%. Okay. So what you're thinking is you must mark up your original uh, item price by at least 13% to break even. So for example, if you had a 20, something that costs $20, that's including shipping and handling and uh, taxes. If everything together costs twenty dollars, you're gonna then um, find that you have to sell whatever you're selling it for when you post it on eBay. So you find the item on Amazon. Altogether, everything costs twenty dollars. You're gonna sell it for at least twenty-two dollars and sixty cents to break even. But uh, obviously, we're gonna sell it for more than that. But we're gonna make this a lot more simple for you than all those calculations. We're gonna use a website called Final Fee Calc. Com. I'll show you that right after this uh, PowerPoint, and you'll 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 see exactly what that looks like and how that works. Okay, to avoid any confusion, um, only use items that have free shipping and that have the Amazon Prime logo. That doesn't mean you're gonna use your Amazon Prime account. Definitely don't do that. But what it's gonna do is have that fulfillment by Amazon. You'll know it's gonna actually get there, and we're gonna use the standard free shipping and versus using the two-day shipping for Amazon Prime. Okay, that's all that is. So. You're going to use your gift receipts for your purchase. Ensure that your customer um, never receives an invoice for for the information by using the gift receipt. So that's, that's a very important step there. And, um, you know, you guys want to make sure you do that. Search for it. So how are we going to find the items? You're going to search for the item on Amazon, okay? And you're going to make sure it's free. It has... Uh, it's shipped directly from Amazon. I'll show you how to do that. Don't worry about that. Search the item on eBay. So search for similar items on eBay. I'll show you how to do that. You're going to use Final Fee Calc uh, to calculate how much you should be selling it for on eBay. I'll show you how to do that. Okay. To process the orders, uh, you're going to use manual tracking, a manual tracking spreadsheet. We talked about that. You're going to order a product from Amazon, choose standard free shipping, gift receipt, and add um, eBay customer's uh, address to your shipping address. But you're going to use your phone number in case the person that you're buying from has to contact you. Okay, And that's really what we have, guys. So, um, you know, you can always come back and check this video. Place your order in Amazon. You can always come back and check this um, video if you need to review any of those steps. Now, what I'm going to do is actually you're going to walk, just just look exactly at what I would do, and I'm going to walk you through exactly what this looks like, uh, this whole entire process, okay? Uh, so if you're really serious about diving in um, to starting an online business or working from home, this is a good this is a good way to start because there's just very, um, I just I just really think uh, e-commerce is a good place to start. So. Let's take a look at this. Uh, as we went over yesterday, we went over how to find out what's selling when, and we talked about uh, how right now space heaters are in. Specifically, electric space heaters with remotes are, are going to be popular right now. So what I'm going to do is go into Amazon. I'm going to literally type in 
electric, uh, space, heater, with remote. Okay, press enter. So, all right, so the first things first, you're gonna go on there, you're gonna see, uh, obviously the results are gonna come up, but you're gonna go to the left-hand side, you're gonna click Prime. Because we want to make sure they're sold by Amazon Prime. Those are people that we want to buy from Amazon. Okay. We're going to click free shipping. Make sure that it has free shipping by Amazon. Okay. Very important. And then we're going to also make sure it's new. So that's our criteria. That's what we're going to make sure we give the best quality and as quickly as possible. Okay. Right now, I'm just looking through these items. And I like this item right here. Uh, one, because it's on sale. This is a pretty good price that I can mark up. Um, and yeah, just those kind of things. We're going to go ahead and click on that. So we have this one here. Okay. And I'm looking at this item and I see a couple things. So one important number, we'll get into it. We're going to need this number right here. It's called the ASIN number. We'll, we'll get that one. Um, so we'll get into that, why that's important. But, uh, we're looking at this and we see 5699 and they had it for $80 at a certain point. Okay, so let's keep that in mind and let's go over here. This is finalfeecalc.com. Okay, you may want to write that down, finalfeecalc.com. This is what you're going to utilize. Okay, first things first, you're going to put in $6 for uh, shipping. Just put in that $6, that's a good buffer. Um, and just in case there's any little fees or anything like that, it's a good buffer, is that $6. All right, now. What we're going to do is calculate it. You're going to see down here, they're going to tell you about the eBay fee, and they're also going to tell you about the PayPal fee. What I'm going to do is type in the item cost. This is the, how much I pay for the item, price you pay for an item right here. We're going to put $56.99, the same price that we saw on the previous page. Okay. Now we're thinking, all right, what could we sell this price for? Okay, they had it for $79.99. That seems like the retail price. So I'm just going to put $80 here. Okay, so we'll sell it for $80. Now, for our $57 investment, we're going to look to make back about $6.39. Okay, which you don't want to think of this as a one time thing. This is an item that's going to be selling probably multiple times throughout the day. Um, so you want to think of this just as another stream of income again. Okay, all right. So I have all that. I have my Amazon. I know where I'm going to get that from in Amazon. I have this uh, fee calculator. I know I can make a profit from it. And I know this is a profitable item. Okay. So what I'm going to do is actually the same thing I typed in here. I'm going to type that in eBay. Okay. So I'm going to type in electric space heater with remote. All right. Now, I type in electric space here with remote. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click over here where it says buy it now. I'm going to click that because those are really the people you're competing with. Buy it now. Click for free shipping. Okay. You get 80% more when you uh, offer free shipping. So we're definitely going to be offering free shipping. I'm going to click sold listings. Okay. So we click in all those things. And let's take a quick uh, look at these items here. Okay. So you're going to quick look. And what we're seeing is um, one, okay, a couple things. One is our item is, is not even is not even here, which is perfect. Okay. So that means our item is going to uh, obviously stand out. And if we look at the price, our item is right within the price range. Yeah, these two specifically are probably um, the cheapest that they have. But um, our item is right in a really good price range for things that are going to sell, okay, along with all these other things that sell. 80 bucks is just is reasonable and is where it's at, especially the ones that look like ours. The price is about $80. But remember, none of them are exactly like this, so our product is definitely going to stand out. And we're going to get into how to get it to rank on the first page no matter what um, in, in later videos. But that's definitely an important thing. All right, now what we're gonna do, the number I told you that was really important. The reason why it's important is we're gonna grab that. I'm gonna copy that. And here it is. So here's the spreadsheet I was telling you about. You wanna, uh, got a blank spreadsheet for us so we can see what it looks like, okay? First thing you wanna do 
Okay, I'm actually, I don't want to go out of order. So first thing you want to do is copy this name. I'm going to copy that. And I'm actually going to paste that in here. Okay. So this is just the item name. I'm going to shrink that, make sure it fits in there. Okay. Then I'm going to have the listing price. Okay. The listing price is where we're going to put it for, which was $80. And the actual price was $56.99. Okay. So this one calculates it for us to be making a profit about $7.53. So you're making a profit around that range. Somewhere around that range, that's where your profit's going to be. But here's something that's very important. What I'm going to do is copy that, that uh, little number. Okay, so copy this ASIN number into the spreadsheet. And again, if you want the spreadsheet, just send me a, shoot me an email. I mean, shoot me a message and, and uh, let me know where I can email you at, okay? I'm going to paste that in there, and we're going to click this. Now, there's already a formula in here that automatically puts this number where it needs to be. So when I click here, so when I go back to review this item, I can just click on this. Uh, internet is going a little bit slow, but ideally you click on it and it will eventually show up. But uh, the the um, item is going to show up in Amazon, so I'll, I'll never forget what where I got that from and what I don't have to do any of that research again. Okay, once you actually post it into eBay, okay, there there actually goes with the uh, website. But once you actually post it in eBay. You're going to um, put in your eBay item ID. That's what you're going to get after you post it. And essentially then at that point, you're waiting to um, receive your profit. Notice it opened up the same exact page. Um, open up in Safari. That's why it's taking a while. But same thing. Okay. So that's really what we got today. Um, if you have any questions, send me a message. You can make a comment. But go ahead. If you got value from this, if you learned something new today, um, if you think that this is something that you maybe want to try out, go ahead and leave a comment, uh, like this page, also like the fan page, okay? I've been sharing things right into the fan page. Make sure you go ahead and like the fan page if you haven't done so already, and I appreciate you guys coming out. Um, I really thank you for your time, okay? And that's what it is. Thank you very much.